Good evening everyone, welcome to Wednesday Night Live. Uh, my name is Kelly Farley, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Cracker, Auckland, New Zealand. And we're going to make this accordion style card, which we've made an accordion style similar, which had pieces that kind of using designer series paper, but this is using our card. Um, so I also um, was alerted to the fact that I had put some incorrect me or incorrect measurements. Actually, what I had done is uh, not actually completed the measurements. So the card base is all of these measurements are in are in inches. I mean, in centimeters. And I'm going to write your card base as centimeters. So let me just measure it. So it is. Um, five, uh, what is it? 14.8 wide, so a normal standard card wide, so 14.8, and then it is the full length of an A4, which is 29.7. So, apologies about that, ladies, um, and gentlemen, maybe. Um, so this piece here is um, our DSP front layer. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. So card base is 14.8 by 29.7, so one full length of the A4, but the width of a standard card because obviously you need it longer. Um, DSP for your front piece is this piece here, which is... Uh, 10 centimetres by 14.6 centimetres. So if this measurement here, if you're doing inches, is 5 and 7 eighths by A4. Um, this piece here, if you're doing inches, is 3 quarters by 5 and a half. Okay, so that's the back piece. That's not the front layer. Um, back piece, and then you need... A four pieces of designer series paper. Now these ones are uh, four and a half centimeters. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> get myself confused because I've switched between inches and centimeters. So four and a half centimeters, which is one and three quarter inches by five and a half inches, or fourteen point one centimeters. All right. And then you need, I think this is wrong. This one here is nine and a, nine and a half. Yeah. So this measurement, I don't know what that is about. Sorry. I was confused. I obviously was confused when I was writing this up. So nine and a half by 14.1, which is that back piece there. Then you have these panels. You need one piece that is 7 centimetres by 14 centimetres. And then you need three pieces that are 6.5 centimetres square. So that's these three pieces here. And then you also need one piece that is 7 centimetres by 7 centimetres. Hello, ladies. Sorry, I haven't, it hasn't popped up on my computer. It's so annoying when it does that. Let me just uh, refresh. So um, hopefully... Oh, there's seven of you lovelies on. Um, mm, there we go. Let me just mute that because we don't want all the feedback. Uh, right. Hello, Lisa, Alison, and Andrea. Thank you for joining me. That's so funny. On my computer, it says there's six people watching, and on my phone, it says that there's seven. Oh no, now this six. Okay, so thank you, Andrea, for um us on a roll. I just got so excited about getting it all ready that I made a mistake when I was putting my measurements up. So if you would prefer me to um put up the um measurements in inches. Hi Anita! How is Cardiff? What's the time over there? Oh, it must be early in the morning, is it? Must be. Go all the way over to Cardiff to watch my videos. That's exciting. <laughs> Hope you're having an awesome time, Anita. Um, okay, so here's our card base. 
So that is our 14.8, 29.7. We're going to um, pop that in here. Let me move this out of the way. And we're going to score at 10 centimetres. Now I have to keep reminding myself that this is centimetres, this one. So you ladies, lovely ladies, uh, will enjoy that. You don't have to try and work out the weird inches. Um, and then 14.8. Now I hope this works because I had to fiddle around with the measurements because I actually got this at the team retreat. Awesome. Good. 8.36. Oh, yeah. Nice and early for you. It's a nice way to start the morning while you're having breakfast, making, watching some card making. 19.8. Uh, and 24.8. So, oh my god. This new Facebook thing is just so annoying. Uh, 24.8. So, I'll repeat those. My evening, Mary. So, we've got 10 centimeters, 14.8, 19.8, 24.8. Okay. So that is the base. Now we're going to get this piece here, which is 14 centimetres by 7 centimetres. And we're going to pop that in at 7 centimetres and score. All right, so you end up with a piece like that. And then that is all our scoring. Um, so... We're going to start off with, I'm using some pieces from the He's the Man designer series paper set. Um, I don't actually have a men's set at the moment, which, um, so all of this paper, my designer series paper is from the He's the Man kit uh, set as well. So um, it's my dad's birthday coming up, so I'm going to use this for him. So I've chosen those papers and then one of those. Um, and I have got this retired stamp set, sorry, but um, sentiments, sentimental swirls. I just really quite thought that uh, Happy Birthday was quite a nice font, so we'll use that as well. So normally what we would do is we would have this part here, the larger piece at the front of our card, and actually this time it's going to be at the back. But what we're going to do is we're going to score all our back foot both ways. How's everyone doing? How's their week going? Man, I can't believe it's Wednesday already. This week has flowing by. Can't believe it already. And it's just so everything just like feels like it's flying by. Um, Alright, so this is our back. So we're going to, I find it easier to concertina that way, just so that we get it going the right way. And then burnish your score marks again so that it kind of takes takes on that so you end up with that sort of shape. All right, move that out of the way. So to decorate, nice and easy using designer series paper. You don't have to use designer series paper, series paper. if you don't have any. Um, just use some cardstock and... Oh no, Lisa. <laughs> oh, at least you've got them all back. We've had like, we had 16 away. 16 out of 49, I suppose, is not a bad average, but 16 away on Monday, 10 away yesterday, and I think we had 12 away today. So, which is good. It's good to have low numbers when we're stuck inside, but today was pretty amazing with the. Um, the weather I have to say experience expecting rain and um, 
when getting in. Yeah, the joys, they're so joy. they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that one was sick at school though. Sorry, I've just got glue stuck all over my finger now. Right, so this is our back piece. We're going to pop that on centre there. I do apologise if your measurements are a little bit out because I'm not used to doing um, centimetres. I'm a little bit out of practice of using centimetres. No, I think I'm going to go that one. Yeah, that one, it doesn't really stand out, I know, but I just, the back side of it isn't really my dad, so I kind of was like, mm, he's not much of a camper, so um, we'll pop that there, pop that there. You're not going to see a lot of it anyway, because it's hidden um, by the card and the decoration, so it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, some lovely cards posted from Sunday night's um, card that we did. Thank you very much, ladies. Charlotte, Andrea, and Alison. So nice to see them on there. Alison, I see you're still uh, managing to use some of, still got some of that poppy paper that's so delicious. This looks so pretty on that card. Works really well for it. So, ladies, remember, um, we, uh, you have the whole week to complete Sunday night's card if you wanted to have a go, as well as tonight's card, and then all of the names for both cards will be put into the wheel, and we'll do two draws. So, because I, I know that the week is quite hectic, so. If you get a chance to have a little bit of crafting time on the weekend, um, that gives you um, the opportunity to still participate if you wanted to. Um, yes, she does have an impressive uh, crafting room. You're right, Lisa. It's a lovely. She's done some really cool things with her dyes and paper swatches and ink swatches and stuff, which is great. <laughs> People who have a de dedicated craft room are might need be almost all gone, yeah. I thought it, I actually thought it was all gone, Alison, so I'm impressed that you've still got a little bit. Kept it for special, special cards. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. That's what mine looks like. Then we've got this piece here, which is our um, 7 by 14 that we've scored at 7. <laughs> well, it's nice to show it off to people, Alison. It's just very lovely to show it off to people. Okay, so... We've got three pieces, and I've used um, crumb cake because it matches my design series paper and early espresso. Now, when we're putting these on, you can stamp, you can um, emboss them. Oh, maybe I'll emboss them. Um, stamp and then emboss them. And I'm actually just going to pop these on. So I don't know that. Oh, maybe I will. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pop them on there like that and then stamp on this one. But maybe they need a bit of texture. Shall I? I'll emboss them, eh? Let's throw them through an embossing folder. That. We'll fit through this little machine here. I've got the stripes and splatters. Now I'm going to go splatters because stripes, oh hang on, I thought they were like really even but they're not. So let's use that one. So I can fit two in at a time. So 
Let me move these out of the way. And it's running low, so I need to make sure it's out the right way. Okay, so embossing folder one in three. This is three, that's a two. Oh, one. one, one, one. One's the one I don't use very often anymore because it doesn't, it gets a bit stuck when I use the other two plates. So that's just this one. We'll see. We'll see if this works. So popping those two in there. That's not happy. Let's do this. I think it's hi, <laughs> Maureen. That's no problem at all. Just in time to see me fighting with this little machine. I always get messed up with the um, with the thick embossing folders, but I think this is going to be too thick. This is not a good advert for the mini, is it? Every time I use it, I have a problem. Maybe it's user error. No, that's not going to go through. Whoops. User error, user error. Okay, so let's try that one there. I feel like I've tried that already. It's just not taking through there. What the heck? Let me just try these two then. There we go. I don't know if that's going to work though. It feels like it's going through too easily for it to actually. Oh yeah, there we go. I need to write myself a note. When using thick embossing folders, just use the two clear plates. All right, I don't know if you can see how well you can see that, but we'll pop those there. Grab our friendly dimensionals. And we're just gonna pop some on the back here. Don't want them to get caught or anything, so let's take that off. Oh, guys are very quiet tonight. All concentrating. Um, Andrea, I posted your prize today, and Angela. I'm not sure if Angela's watching tonight, but if she is watching later on, I posted your prizes yesterday so they would have been picked up from the letter box today from the post box today um and andrea yours has got charlotte's in it as well so um hopefully they arrive soon all right so we're just going to pop these now what you do need to do is make sure that you know habit is that we're going to go this way we're actually going to go so that it opens backwards because it's going to fit here like that. All right, so we want it to. Yeah, that's right. We want it to kind of keep that closed part on this side. So I want this bit here. So opening it up. <laughs> I think you might have her hooked, Andrea. It's two weeks in a row and now three weeks she's coming to you to make cards. That'll be nice. Um, 
Hopefully it's not you paying for all the bits all the time though. Well, unfortunately, I probably won't get there before tomorrow, so um, that's a little bit annoying, but never mind. Sorry about that. Okay, happy birthday. <coughs> I'm going to use early espresso to match my card. One of the nice things with stamping up. Wonder if I go. Could be better, but maybe I won't do it like that. Maybe I'll just do the one. And it's still crooked. I, I think I actually turned the stamp and made it even more crooked. <coughs> Never mind. Okay, so this piece is going to get glued onto this piece. Ah, uh, oh, I hope he's all right. That can be kind of um, risky, can't it? Well, not risky, but, you know, a risk factor in the time of it. I hope he recovers quickly. And it's not too stressful for you. Alrighty. I don't think my dad needs um, swirls or florals, so we'll just leave it as that. Um, all right, so what we're going to do here is these need to get put onto, it needs to, you're going to pinch those two, those concertina parts together. We're going to put some glue or adhesive just on the inside here. Now you can do them both at the same time. Or you can do them at separate times. I'm going to try and do it at the same time. Probably will backfire, but at least you'll see what will happen if you do it that way. Remember, if you're using glue, not too close to the edge. And... <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's right. Takeaways are always... Um, can't well, takeaways are always good, Andrea, when um, the main cook is out of action. Okay, so I'm going to pop this in here and I'm going to line it up so I know it's going to fit inside my panel, kind of center it, and then pop, hold, just hold it there just so the glue gets tacky and adheres. So that's what you end up with and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this on so that it sits underneath. So what I might do is place that there. Again, could backfire. Fingers crossed. So I want that. Have I got it going the right way? Happy birthday. So I want that to layer so that when it closes, it layers on top of that. So I'm going to hold that there with my fingers. I <laughs> have yeah, plenty of pumpkin soup, that's for sure. Um, hold that with my fingers there for a minute and then just bring this over and then I can lift it and press down and then it will be in place. And it's slightly crooked, but Dad's got one cataract in his eye, so he might not notice that it's crooked. And he doesn't watch, so. So, that is our card. And obviously, if you were doing it for someone else who likes lots of 
flowery stuff um, and or you're doing it for a child or a lady that likes lots of put gems and stuff on it I don't know that he'll be into sequins and stuff so we won't bother with that um, so there you go another accordion style card actually quite pleased with how that's all turned out so um, that is our card for tonight I'm going to look at that it's like four minutes and I'm four minutes to go and I'm finished not taking your evening up again um so i will pop a photo of this My, is it easier if i put it in one thank you maureen if i put it as one post so if i add this picture to the other post would that be easier because then you can just post it as one thing yes allison you could write on the back so i would probably put a piece of crumb cake on the back there you could write in here if you wanted to. You could use this as you could do this plain without designer series paper um, and not put this piece on and use that as your writing piece. Or you could put a piece on the back. You could also leave these blank and write on those. Yes, I will, you're right, Lisa. I will. So I will post them. I'll I'll make a new post. And hopefully um, this all makes sense. So I will send that. Um, that's, yes, I will. I will post. Um, I will post a new picture. I'll post a picture of this and our measurements. Hi, uh, yeah, you guys, great minds think alike, hey. Um, so I'll post this. Is that clear enough to read? With that little scribble out there hopefully that's clear let me know if it's not and i'll rewrite it but otherwise um i'll just take a photo of that with the updates and post it with the card okay um all right well thank you very much uh, for joining me tonight ladies really appreciate it hope you um enjoyed that and maybe have a go at doing it well, you enjoy teaching tomorrow, Alison. Um, I'm glad that you're able to um, go out and get out and, and it's not too wet and cold and stuff. But it's nice that you get to do like one day and then have some time to yourself as well. Um, I look forward to seeing your card on Friday. It's actually um, really effective looking, but quite simple to make. Thanks, Lisa, but I was going to send an email and ask the same thing. We, we've got lots. Matt's taken two bags to work. No, not at your age. I don't mean. I mean, it's nice having the option to go and make, go and teach one day and then make cards the next day. I wish I was doing that. I wish I was doing that some days. I can't believe that, like, how quickly... Oh yeah, yeah. I don't. He hasn't finished emptying the tree, but thank you for the offer. <laughs> um, I'm too lazy to um, like cut them and juice them and put them in the freezer. My sister-in-law does that with theirs, and I'm just like, I can't. I don't have the you know, Don't have the thought to do that. Um, and I don't know that we'd use it that much. So it would be nice to do some baking with it Matt made a lemon cake I think I mentioned the other day not a fan but it was because it was gluten-free um and it just really had kind of a uh, taste chalky kind of taste to it oh that's nice lemon oh did you do them Andrea you sent me that um recipe have you made them I might get Piper to make some lemon brownies on the weekend have got stamp club on Monday, so I'm sure they'd appreciate some lemon brownies. Um, yeah, that would be nice. Um, all right, well, I will leave you ladies to the rest of your evening. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, and I hope to see your creations. Thank you for persevering with my useless attempts to use the 
mini cut and emboss machine again. Got there in the end. I might have to put some stickers on these and say two clear plates. That might be the best way to do it. Um, so we don't waste all that time mucking around. All right. I will see you Sunday. And uh, I have posted that to get, um, I have done it. And so it's getting ready to post automatically on Saturday, but I might just go and check my measurements so that um, it makes a bit more sense. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. I think they're actually all in, um, they are in inches, I think, for the next one. Yeah. So, alrighty. See you later. Mm.